What's up guys, it's Shelly, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, what's up, I'm Shelly. Welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review video on the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh setting powder. So I have not tried this before. I am really excited to try it. And I am, well obviously I've tried it now, but before today I haven't. And I'm really excited to give you guys my full opinion on this. Let me tell you, this video gets really interesting. It gets, yeah, it gets interesting. So I definitely recommend watching it. But along with this, I'm also going to be testing out the Saturday Skin Waterfall Cream and the Wide Awake Eye Cream and the Kevin Coin Neo Bronzer in the color Dusk Medium. So I'm going to be doing all of this in my regular foundation routine and I'm going to give you guys reviews on the products. But before we get into the actual review, if you guys haven't done so already, don't forget to click subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any more of my review videos here on this channel. You guys can also find more of them in the description box down below or in a card linked up above somewhere. So now that I've said all of that, let's go ahead and get into what I really think about the Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder from Becca. So the key to getting your foundation to look really nice is making sure that your face is nice and prepped and primed. So yes, use a primer, but I always like to start with moisturizer, something that's light, not too heavy. And I'm going to use the Saturday, Saturday Skin Waterfall Cream and Wide Awake Eye Cream. This is going to bring moisture into my face without being a little too much, and it's just gonna give my foundation a nice, smooth canvas to go over. So I'm just going to take the tiniest amount on my finger like this and I'm just going to smooth this over my face. I'm only using just a little bit because I'll show you what I'm going to do in a second with my foundation. Then I'm going to use the Saturday Skin Eye Cream. It looks like this. I'm just going to use a half pump of this. This stuff smells really good. So I'm just going to use the tiniest bit and I'm just going to dab around the orbital rim of my eye. Okay, so my skin is now prepped with the Saturday Skin Waterfall Cream and the Wide Awake Eye Cream. I'm now going to move on to foundation. So here in Los Angeles, the weather is pretty hot and I'm looking for more of a lighter coverage, something that's more breathable and light. So you guys know that I use Estee Lauder Double Wear. This is my favorite foundation of all time, like literally go-to, staple. Get it if you don't have it. Link is in the description. I'll also link my review for it because this is the best foundation in the world. So I'm going to mix this foundation with the Saturday Skin Waterfall Cream to just kind of create a little bit of a lighter coverage because Estee Lauder really can be buildable or you can add moisturizer to it to really thin it out and just give it a beautiful light coverage. So I'm going to use about this much foundation, put it on the back of my hand, and then I'm going to mix it with a dollop. So I'm going to mix it together on the back of my hand like this. All right, so we're all mixed, and now I'm gonna go ahead and just put this all over my face. So then after my foundation, I'm gonna apply my Hourglass Vanish Concealer underneath my eyes, just to kind of brighten up this area a little bit. I personally like to blend this concealer out just using my finger like this first and then I will go over it with a beauty sponge to really kind of just give it a super nice finish. A little bit of this concealer goes a long way. If you guys want to see my review on it, it will be linked in the description box below as well. All right, so my foundation is on, my under eyes are brightened, and now we are going to move into testing out the Becca, what is this? The Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. So I'm really excited to try this loose powder. I wanna test it underneath here to see how it sets liquid concealer and if it's going to crease, is it gonna look drying? What's the deal with it? A really pretty packaging that says Becca. I like that it's a clear container comes with a sticker to prevent the powder from coming out. It comes with a flap, a door to protect the powder from spilling out. Ladies, your makeup bags are safe. So I already think that that's amazing. So I'm gonna take this sticker off because I have not, again, I have not tried this at all. So 
I'm gonna take the sticker off and we're gonna give it a go. I'm going to use my Lancome number one powder brush and I am just going to first dust this all over my face to set my foundation. A loose refreshing powder that dusts on like a mist and sets, perfects, and refreshes makeup for a silky smooth finish. 50% water plus glycerin is in here, so let's see how refreshing this really is. I'm going to dust it on this side of my face and we're going to feel what it feels like. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was, that was a real reaction. Like 100%. It feels like water. Hold on a second. It's okay. Okay. I was so not expecting that. I thought this was such a gimmick. This is such a summer product, you guys. Okay. So what it feels like, honestly, like honest. It feels like it's cold. Oh my gosh, what what is happening here? Oh my gosh. Okay, so that's just the feeling of it. Let's see what this stuff looks like on the skin. So it definitely refreshes. Now let's see if it sets. So this is actually like really cooling. I feel like if you're out in the summertime and your face gets greasy and you just want to touch up your blotting powder and you use this setting powder, you're going to one, set your foundation, but you're also gonna refresh your face because it's gonna be like really nice and cooling. All right, okay, Becca, I see you. I see you, girl. I'm actually going to take a wet sponge like other beauty gurus do, and I'm going to try and set this underneath my eye and see what that is like. So I'm gonna go ahead and test baking under this eye to see what it's like compared to just dusting underneath um, this eye. This is crazy. This is a really crazy sensation because the sponge is wet, but then the powder feels wet. It's just like a whole thing. Come on, pack this in there, girl. All right, so I'm gonna let this sit and then I'm gonna come back and then we're gonna review what it looks like. Okay, so it's been a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and dust it off. This little section I think you guys can see might be worrying me as well. <sighs> oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> well. So this is not a baking powder, ladies and gentlemen. You guys, like, I'm like, I'm actually glad I did that in this review. Okay, so, all right, so let's just go ahead and note this now. Don't bake with the Becca Hydro Mist Set and Refresh. Like, it, honeys, does not come off. Um, but let's go ahead and review the rest of my face and see what it looks like. So, getting up close and personal, I can't lie, it looks a little dry and dusty on my nose, on the tip of my nose, and you guys can already see that it's a little creasy on this side. I mean, that is just my wrinkle, but it looks pretty creasy. Um, and it really kind of seems to unfortunately be pulling out texture on my face. Okay, so I am a little disappointed, I have to say. It is a little dry. It pulls out a little bit of texture. It does not bake well. Um, kind of creases, but on my cheeks, it does smooth. So my skin is nice and smooth, and so I'm gonna do my best to try and blend this out and then finish off my makeup to see what it looks like underneath makeup, because I do want to give it the full shot here. So I'm gonna really work at this here. All right, so I was able to blend out the baking part. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my blush and bronzer now. So for bronzer, I'm going to use this Kevin Acoin Neo Bronzer. I got mine in dusk medium. So this is what the packaging looks like. Ignore my grubby fingerprints all over it. As you guys can see, it also has like an ombre effect, which I think is super cool. We start with dark and then move to light. It's just perfect because when you want a light bronzer, you have it here. If you want contour color it's right there also comes with a cute mirror we love it Kevin a coin so I'm gonna go ahead and use the lighter to middle part of the bronzer just to dust over my face and add a little bit of color to my skin um, and make my foundation match my tan okay I have to bring this up am I the only one seeing this but I did a pretty good job dusting off the bake and now it's like reappearing 
All right, so that was the Kevin Acoin Neo Bronzer on my face. I'm now going to move into my blush, which as you guys know from my last video, I have been using the Tower 28 Cream Blush and Lip Color. I love this thing. It's just so cute. I'm gonna open this up, and I'm just gonna take a blush brush, a nice fluffy one, dab it in just a little bit, because a little bit of this stuff goes a long way, and I'm just going to pop it on my cheeks like this above my bronzer done okay so my face makeup is done I prepped my skin using the Saturday skin duo then I use my foundation concealer set with the hydra mist set and refresh powder and then we use the Neo Bronzer and my blush. My cheek and jawline area actually do look really nice. They feel smooth. It doesn't feel heavy. It feels set. It feels very nicely set, as you guys can see in this area. It didn't make blending out blush and bronzer any more difficult, so it actually made it really easy to blend over, so I love that aspect. So let's just go ahead and talk about pros and cons about this setting powder. Let's go ahead and just talk about the positives first because I always like to start on a good note. So the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. Number one, I think that the cooling effect, the refreshing, the 50% water and glycerin is actually a really, really cool thing. I think that was a really pleasant surprise and I did love the feeling of it. So that is definitely a big plus for it. I also really like the packaging and the flap door that they have to protect the powder from coming out and the netting under here, the filter netting to make sure that you don't get too much product on your brush. So those are positives that I really like. I would love to try this on bare skin and just see what it does for just a really light look. Um, so those are definitely positive. Now, let's talk about the negatives, unfortunately, that we saw. So, first and most obvious negative thing that you guys witnessed is you cannot bake with this powder. Number two, it is a little dusty on my nose. It is a little drying and it pulls out texture from the skin. It also creases pretty easily underneath your under eye. So those are pretty big negative things about this powder. Overall, I have to say I personally don't love this setting powder as far as using it in a full face of makeup. I think it would be really great just to use on like a beach day if you're just trying to dust over your face and blot out any sweat or grease that might happen in the sun. However, on top of foundation, on top of concealer, maybe not. It doesn't it just doesn't seem to work the way I want it to work. It it just yeah, no. But if you guys are interested in testing out any of the products that I use in this video, everything is linked in the description box down below. If you want to test out the Becca um, Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder just to feel that water sensation, because honestly it feels like a mister. It doesn't feel like powder. It's, it, I can't explain it. That'll be linked in the description box down below. So I want to thank Becca, Kevin Acoin, and Saturday Skin for sending me these products to test out. I had a lot of fun testing them out. Also, thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe so you get to see more review videos like this as well as tutorials and other things that I put up. So click subscribe, turn on your post notifications so you don't miss any more of this video and these videos. <laughs> This video is over, so you're not going to miss any more of it. So you don't miss any more of these videos. Okay. And of course, just like always, until next time, bye guys.